Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Behind me, I've got the 2022 Cadillac Escalade Sport Platinum. We're about to apply our second wrap on this vehicle. In a previous video to this one, we took off a wrap. I can see some remnants here still, but in that video, which you might want to check out first, I shared with you some tips and tricks, my methodology when it comes to planning to do a wrap. So if you're thinking of doing something like this on your own, you might want to watch that video first. In this video, we are going to apply a new color and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks along the way, how to use some of the tools. Let's go. All right, we're going to share with you some tips. One thing I do when I'm working with doors to make sure I don't get locked out once the handle's removed is I will actually take one of my rags that's gotten a little bit dirty that I'm not going to reuse, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, and I'll just pull it through like that so it's nice and tight. And then when I go to close the door, it can't close, I can't get locked out. Another tip would be to have all the rags at your disposal. Don't shortchange yourself here. I won't use the same rag when I clean a panel onto the next one. I try to use a clean rag for every section that I'm doing because there's gonna be areas where you reveal some filth or some dirt or some sand. And the last thing you wanna do is scratch that into your clear coat or have it get under the wrap anywhere. It could be detrimental to the finished product and how good your wrap looks. So another important step and often overlooked is where you're going to need to tuck underneath weather stripping. I'm not gonna be able to remove this window. So I need to be able to peel up this weather stripping so I can use a, a wrap stick like this or a tuck tool and I can go along there, which will be part of my process where I'll have a soaked rag and isopropyl alcohol and I'll clean in behind it, but that might not be enough. If you have compressed air, this can also be very handy to get rid of any sand or particles that might be trapped under there because there's nothing worse than working on a whole panel. You get to those last step, you do some really nice cut lines, you go to tuck it underneath that weather stripping and you find that it's just full of dirt and then you're going to find that it bubbles there and that's where the wrap's going to fail. So spend a lot of attention cleaning behind your weather stripping in the areas where it cannot be removed. Another good preparatory measure is eventually we're going to be working around these wheel wells and our material is just going to tuck slightly around maybe a quarter of an inch but we don't want all this sand and this is just carpet. A lot of these uh, fender wells are made out of like carpet material for sound deadening purposes. But if I keep hitting on this, sand just keeps falling out. So to negate any sand hitting our wrap when it first starts to curl under, I will take tape, something like this here, and I will lay it in up against that carpet edge. And I'll do that all the way around the wheel opening. And then I'll even take maybe another wider tape. You don't have to go as far as I do with it, but I'll go probably about three inches in. And then that way, when I'm working in this area, any dust that's going to fall, it's unlikely to fall directly onto my wrap and stick because the last thing you want is to wrap that around. There's some sand stuck in there and then water gets in there, which it's going to, but because that is open and not sealed, that water gets in, it channels through areas that are just, you know, very small openings and eventually the wrap fails and it peels somewhere in this area. So this will help you avoid that. Another tip, make sure that it's warm enough in the area you're working in. I'm gonna close the garage door, make sure it's about 70 degrees in here. You wouldn't really want it any cooler than that. You can do it, but you're gonna find the vinyl is harder to work with. You want it a little warmer in the room, so the vinyl just expands and can be stretched a little easier. You can obviously use a heat gun, but you wanna avoid overstretching. So if the room's warm enough to keep the vinyl relaxed and more pliable and easy to use, that's what you want. So I'm gonna start with this door. I've already taken the handle off. I've made sure I can't lock myself out. I put a rag in here. There's the door panel. Everything is exposed on the inside here so I can put the handle back on. That's why we need to take the panel off. But I have a trim right here that I wanna be able to tuck underneath. This is pretty easy to remove. So we wanna make sure that we take that off. Also, there's weather stripping here that we need to pry off of the door panel so we can tuck behind it. That's pretty easy to do. There's actually fasteners that hold it in, but if you're careful on this vehicle, you can just bend it back to work with it. So I'm actually gonna leave this door open. You might see some people 
that will put a large piece of vinyl all the way across. Nothing wrong with doing it that way. I'm choosing to do this panel by panel where I'm going to put the vinyl on here, make sure it's all perfect, post heat it, put all the trim back on, and then I'm gonna move on to the next one. Because we don't all have the luxury of giant garages or shops where we can disassemble a whole vehicle and then put it all back together when we're done, I choose to go panel by panel because I've got so much other stuff going on that I'd rather just have a start point and a stop point before I get on to the next piece. All right, you might be wondering, why do I have this blue tape here? The blue tape is in areas that I need to cut the vinyl and I don't wanna fight it because it's sticking to those areas. So I need to trim it here so I can lay the vinyl in nicely. I also need to cut the vinyl out for this uh, trim that's already on here because I don't wanna take the whole thing off. It's a huge piece of adhesive. So if the vinyl goes over this, I can cut out for it and then I can work the vinyl underneath where there's a little bit of paint and it's not gonna to stick to this area. So normally we could frame the sides as well, but because I have the door not closed, I'm not worried about the vinyl sticking to that panel. So that's really the only areas I need to mask out, but this is another good tip for you. We are making some great progress. We've got all of this done. I've got the same amount done on the other side. We got to do this panel next. Because this is a black vehicle, I'm just gonna do one sheet here and then cut out for the cap. But because it's black, I got the use of that shadow there so I can leave this in place. I am gonna demonstrate how you would cut around for this, at least on a black vehicle. So you can take that into consideration if you're doing a wrap the same way that I am. If this is removed, it's a little easier. You just cut yourself some extra film, work it in around the edges, and then fine trim it when you're done, and then wrap this separate. But we're gonna do it all in one piece. Remember to clean under the weather stripping. This is soaked in isopropyl alcohol right now. I'm just gonna share a little technique. In this case, I'm just gonna use a wrap glove, not a squeegee. When I go to lay this vinyl down, I can go two different ways. I could peel it from the top and go top to bottom, but then I have this wide area that I gotta work through. And there's some contours to these body lines, especially when we get down here around the uh, wheel opening. So I'm going to actually go this way because I have less material that I need to work in that manner. So I'm just gonna use a glove and I'm just gonna massage it in place and not even add any heat because when you add heat, just to try and get away with stretching the vinyl here or there to make it fit better, you can certainly do that. But when you have a metallic uh, ghost or matte finish like this one, it tends to show those stretch marks easier. So every panel that I've done so far, I didn't use any heat until I had the bend around corners, but for these larger flat areas, no heat and just this glove. So a couple more tips for you. You might be wondering, how are we gonna cut along this weather stripping all nice like that? Remember I did leave a little extra film to tuck under the weather stripping, which I'm about to show you how I achieved that. But over here, my cutting technique would be as follows. So everything is butted up against the weather stripping. Now I can put something like a squeegee here, which has about the thickness of the material I wanna leave intact. And then I could take my nice sharp blade and I can just drag it along the vinyl like this. And if you look closely, we have 
a perfectly spaced cut that I will be able to tuck underneath the weather stripping. So I have wrap sticks here. I'm going to install the firmer one in behind and you got to go slow. This is going to flex the weather stripping up and then I'm going to put another one behind it at an angle and then as I move slowly it's tucking as I'm dragging and you can see how slow I'm going and a lot of that has to do with this weather stripping is really tight but if you look behind me I've got a perfectly tucked line. I saved a good one for you. I'm gonna demonstrate cutting with Vivid's Precision Gliding Knife. The positioning of the blade is right in the middle because it's designed to cut in between gaps. So when I go to cut out for this door, I'm gonna lay the blade right in the middle and I'm gonna drag it all the way around here. Before I do that though, I'm just gonna heat this up and sink this crevice in just a little deeper. Now, there's a couple different ways we could attack this. I'm gonna demonstrate cutting it in the middle on a black vehicle. If this vehicle had a lighter body color, what I would probably do is I would remove the cap altogether. That would allow me to get more film inside. If I don't have that option, maybe this isn't removable on some vehicles. I know it is on this one. I would cut up against the cap. That would give me extra material to fold in. And then I would wrap the cap separate and then fold everything around the cap. But for this demonstration, I'm gonna show you, we can get away with cutting this right in the middle and I think it'll look great. I wanted to demonstrate overstretching your material. Now this is a matte metallic. So overstretching is definitely a concern because if you overstretch your material, it can change what the material looks like and its properties. So ideally, if I was wrapping this bumper, I would want to, you know, try not to add too much heat, try not to add too much stretch as I'm working the vinyl, you know, into places. So that's okay the way I was stretching it. So let's say I want to get around this corner make it a little easier on myself. Sure, I can add heat, and that'll make the vinyl more pliable, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not pulling, so I'm not really stretching. If I lay it like that, it's fine. We get rid of that glue line there, that's fine. What we don't wanna do is just heat it up to make it return to its original form. Now what you don't wanna do, you don't wanna stretch it out like that and apply it. It's easier to put it on, but now look at the line that I have here. This has a different sheen than this. I can see the reflection of my finger in this corner, but I can't as I move over here. That's because I've stretched this material to the point where its properties are different. This is visibly noticeable, especially when you stand back and see the whole vehicle. You wanna avoid overstretching like that. Good morning, it is another day. We've got the truck mostly done, we're at 99%. I wanted to show the importance of details before we do the reveal. So I've left one door handle here that comes all gloss black. It's illuminated, so there's a light here. And then there's a small seam just at the top there, but there's no seam underneath. I think a nice strip right here in the green will look good. So I got a piece of vinyl here that already has a very straight edge. And we're just going to find the natural line in this handle. It's already been cleaned but I'm gonna lay this on here, add some heat, and show you how I would add some detail to this handle. Thank you. 
And that's called details. All right, it's time for the big reveal. All right, we're back at the house. Let's take a closer look and do a quick walk around. So I think it turned out beautifully. We got our PPF line here. No big deal, we're gonna live with it. Everything is tucked in nicely. Remember, because this is PPF, sometimes where it bonds to the PPF is as good a result you're gonna get because the edge of the PPF may not be perfect. When we look at our seams, we got that black shadow I'm talking about. In this case, it wraps just enough around that you don't see any puckering and it is a nice smooth line all the way down. The little bit of gap here that you see is actually the adhesive holding on these guards. Other than that, everything's tucked in nicely. I'm really proud of the handles. I think they worked out wonderfully, as well as under the weather stripping here. Again, our seams look awesome. Getting back here, this is one of the harder spots. I showed you a little bit of footage tucking this under the weather stripping on the window. That's done. We used our precision cutting blade to cut out for the gas cap. You can see how it's all just laid in here. And it's clean because it's a black vehicle. It's just a shadow, looks like a nice clean ring. Bumper worked out okay. We will find out probably in the next 48 hours if there's any areas that need to be post heated again, if there's any failures. I have quite a bit of film left. I could probably redo a couple panels. I didn't have a ton of waste just because I'm used to doing this and I know, you know, I can cut it an inch here and know that I have enough to work with and I don't need six inches. But if you're starting out, have that six inches. Here it recessed in nicely. This could be a point of failure. Our insides, nice clean cuts all the way down. Remember we took the mud flaps off so the vinyl's tucked in under there. Really happy with these edges. If you want to come and look up here, nice and clean. I don't think those will fail. And it's a pretty smooth looking wrap from here on out. Take it all in. Thanks to Vivid for sending over this matte metallic military green ghost wrap. My wife absolutely loves it. Happy wife, happy life. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing for more. We'll talk to you next time.